Hi, I'm Josh from Zenata Consulting. This is a tutorial on how to create knowledge base in Zoho Learn. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing below. Thank you and enjoy. So inside of Learn, uh, again, we have our spaces and we also have the knowledge tab here. Knowledge is more so kind of your knowledge. It's kind of geared towards your manuals and the articles that you create. There's also some other tabs in here. So if you have an article that's shared with you, uh, that would be in here as well. And then certainly if you create any bookmarks in any of your articles, that would show up in this tab. So the knowledge tab is really geared or centered around your personal knowledge, uh, anything that's owned or uh, that you're interested in, uh, that will all show up in this tab here at the top. To find other articles, that's where you go into spaces. And spaces, like Greg had mentioned, it's really, you, you, it's, a, it's a way to organize these different manuals into different user groups. So maybe uh, a certain stakeholder needs to have access to these manuals, but other stakeholders uh, should have access to the other uh, manuals. And maybe you don't want them to share uh, across. So spaces is one way to do that. Within spaces, you, you create a space and then you are able to add members to that space. And so here we can quickly add, see the members of the space and then we can manage and add uh, members this way. Within, uh, when we add a member, we can either specify them as a member, an admin, and so on, and that controls their permissions as uh, what they're able to uh, control within that space. And then again, uh, it's just really a folder for any of the articles within it, or manuals rather. So we have a space, and then we have manuals. And then within a manual, we have articles. So that's kind of the hierarchy. You have article at the bottom, then manuals, group articles, and then spaces, group manuals. That's uh, essentially how Learn is uh, organized. Inside of a space, so here's a, a space we created for Zoho One. This is going to show all of our manuals around uh, this one topic. And we can we have a few different manuals in here. And here's an example of one way you could do it. And we have a level one, level two, level three, uh, different types of articles and different levels of articles that we're trying to uh, create and share. Within level one, I, we have all of these ways we can organize it. So we have lists at the top and then we can create articles within these uh, uh, chapters. Sorry, that's what they're called. So we have chapters and then articles. Is essentially, what we're looking at here is just a document. So a document, if I create a new blank article, let's say a new article, I can specify where this article is going to be located. So which space, uh, which manual it's going to be in, and then which chapter it's going to be in. I could create a new chapter at any point or a, a, a manual as well. And when I create the article, it's going to look very similar to Zoho Writer. So when, I, when this opens up, you'll see on the left, this, this all looks very similar to Zoho Writer. So it's likely they're just using that back end. Within here, of course, we're adding text. We can uh, format this text with uh, different formatting options, but we can also insert other things. So maybe you want to add an image or certainly a table. Um, the really cool one is adding videos. So if you wanted to embed a video from YouTube or uh, a different service that you have, this is a great spot to create, uh, to, to share, share those videos with your team and maybe create an article around that. Uh, so here, a lot of our articles, they do have videos. Um, maybe not any of the, here we go. So here's one uh, conversion mapping. We created a video on YouTube and then we just loaded that right into this learn article. And, some other cool things about this is uh, when I'm looking at this, I can see 21 people have viewed it or it has 21 views and 11 users have viewed it. So that's some reporting you can do there. And we'll talk more about those reportings later. Other things you can do on articles, uh, we can comment. Here's that bookmark tab that I had alluded to earlier. So if you bookmark this, this will show up on your My Learning tab. And then we can also add it to favorites. Other things we can do are uh, copy this, export as a PDF, um, and there's a few other uh, little minor things in there. 
You can save it as a template, which means if you wanted to create another article similar to this, then we could just basically load in that template and make a few little changes. So that is a cool little tip there. If we scroll to the bottom, we do have a few other things we can do, such as tags. So tags are a really cool way to search for these in the future. So if I search for leads or search for conversion, this article would appear. Uh, I'm hoping eventually Zoho Learn will release an API, which will allow us to search for these articles using API, but unfortunately that's not there yet. Uh, one other thing you can do is you can say whether or not this is helpful to you. So yes, no, here's how you do it. So you say yes, there you go, a little, little yes there. And we can add attachments. So attachments would just be uh, a simple attachment. One cool thing about this is the commenting and uh, collaboration feature. So if I added a comment, then that comment could be replied to and, and so on. So that is essentially the uh, creating of an article. Again, once this article is created, you can uh, add it anywhere you, you need to. And other cool things is if you needed to move this article, let's say you, you created it in this one workspace uh, or th this one uh, manual, but you actually wanted to move it to somewhere else. A little tip here is if you just click the three dots, you can move this article anywhere inside of the knowledge base. Uh, so maybe you wanted to add it to Zoho Creator. Um, I'll redo that <laughs> for the team, but that's how you do it. Uh, so that's a really cool feature is because you can actually move these around the, uh, the whole learning space without having to duplicate it and copy it over. Um, other things, you do have a few other little settings here. So if you wanted to change your layout, uh, change the font, uh, you do have that. And you can throw a little banner in there too, set it to full width. And then you can apply that to everyone as an admin. So those are little features uh, within the spaces. And again, this is all just around just creating a knowledge base, so adding in the, the information you know, let's put it in a knowledge, or an article so that other members of the team will be able to surface that information and hopefully learn at the same time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell, which notifies you when we post our videos in the future. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave those in the comments below. We really appreciate that as it helps us get better. See you in our next video.